Hey, this is part three of the OM606 build. And uh, just to catch everybody up, I've done the rods, the rings, the crank. Uh, all of that is in. It's at, sitting at top dead center. Head, head is mostly on. But what had happened on part two is I actually sheared off the end of my XZN bit. So today a new bit uh, came in the mail along with my ARP assembly lube. And I had three bolts left, one here in the front and two in the back. I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts out. I'm going to clean them, put more lube on, put them back in, and uh, start the torquing sequence uh, all over again. Uh, my concern is I didn't have enough lube on it. I just want to, I don't want to shear off a bolt uh, or break another bit. Um, with that said, uh, most of my parts are actually out for powder coat. So I just kind of mocked up the chain assembly here. My goal today is to, in addition to getting the head finalized, going ahead and putting in the uh, cam assembly, the cams, and then the chains and the oil pump. After that, I will have to stop because I don't have the rest of the parts to finish the assembly. So that's the goal for part three. So let's get started. Okay, so the last three head bolts were retorqued. Uh, we're all good to go now, ready to assemble the cams and the housing and the chain. So let's go, uh, well, before we go look at that, uh, I want to point out that the housing here, that the cams right in, there's actually a couple guide pins. So if we look back, uh, there's no way really to put this in backwards, right? So the second position, we have a pin, and then the next pin is, the, is really the, the third. All right, we got one, two, three. So the housing can really only go in one way. So let's go look at the housing here. Okay, so here it is. We got the O-rings on the head, which will go under this. We have the cam cams, we have the caps, and we have the tappets, or I don't even know what the official Mercedes uh, word is for that. And on these, before they were taken out, we marked the cylinder, and uh, whether it's intake or exhaust, and uh, one thing I want to point out here is the, my set screw that uh, was put in the intake cam. Now that set screw is an 11 millimeter grade 12 set screw that's been milled within thousands of the thickness of that uh, cam sprocket. I use the uh, Loctite Red to put that in place and that should be rock solid at this point. So that cam gear should not shift on that camshaft. So we're going to go ahead, we'll put the housing in. I'll put the cams in with the chain, and then I will uh, put the caps on, finger tight it, and then come back and talk. Okay, so most of the assembly is now complete. I'm once again waiting on things. Um, but I wanted to take a moment to talk more about the valve train and, and the timing chain itself. So if you look up here at the caps, you'll see that just like the main bearing caps, they are numbered. We've got three, four, five, so on. Um, the significant one, of course, is cap number one, the reason being there is a hole in it for alignment. So if you come around on the intake uh, gear, you can see that hole actually lines up with a pin. Now when I put this engine together, I put uh, piston one at top dead center. And I mark the crank down below. So the short block is sitting at top dead center. And now what we do is we come up here if we look through the sprockets, you can see those two dots are aligned. So that's how we know that all, everything is in alignment, the valve train is aligned. And uh, if we come down now, let's talk about the chain assembly. So I, I'm going to have to go through and, and actually uh, prime the tensioner. Uh, there's a process to go ahead and get it full of oil, and uh, I need to do that process still. So the tensioner. Uh, the main rail here, it's easiest if you just put that on when uh, before you put the head on. And then we have this uh, upper chain rail, which is held in with two pins here. Okay. In my case, I put new pins in. I got a, a chain kit, which actually, actually came with a chain and all the rails, except the oil chain uh, rail and spring. So I got uh, these, these two rails and the one down below along with a, a full chain that does not require a link to be crimped. So that's a big win because if you've ever looked at what it takes to crimp one of these chains, 
it's not something you'd want to more than likely do. It's an expensive tool and you'll probably only use it once or twice in your lifetime. So right now I have the injection pump gear just kind of sitting in here. Right, I wanted to get a feel for placement. Actually, I want to make sure when I assembled this that this was tight back here so that the, the crank and, and the, uh, the cams were as close to being in alignment as possible. There will be some give here, and then, of course, the tensioner will take up the slack. Everything's good. So we have three pins down at the bottom. Two of them hold this rail on, and then there's a spring back here. That spring hooks in this uh, upper rail, if you will, or the bottom rail for the main timing chain, and then the, uh, the tensioner for the oil chain. So that's what keeps tension on it pushed up against the, uh, the sprocket, if you will. So that'll ride right in here. Okay, so I think that's it. The, the pump is on. It's all tightened up. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is find what part number the O-ring is that goes on here, because I can't seem to find that in any Mercedes drawings. And now I'm ordering a bunch of gaskets. I thought I had a full engine gasket set, but it was just a head gasket set. So I have the, uh, there's a couple water pump gaskets, right? There's one for the block. There's actually one for the pump. There's an O-ring on the metal fitting that goes into the back of the pump. There's the timing chain cover. There's a vacuum pump cover uh, gasket. And on the back, we have the uh, oil filter housing gasket. The, this O-ring came in the head gasket kit. And I noticed my valve cover gasket did not come with the, uh, the O-rings uh, that go up here to the injectors. So they're gonna send me another one. So all those gaskets are on order, and almost all the other parts that aren't on the engine right now that were aluminum are actually getting powder coated, um, as with the valve cover. The valve cover is getting powder coated as well. So we're at another stopping point probably for about a week until I get some parts back, and uh, we'll resume with part four for the final assembly. Thanks for watching.